Hello, and welcome to episode 60 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-operated video games of yesteryear. Today I'll be reviewing a random game, King and Balloon. King and Balloon was released in 1980 by Nameco. My first time playing this game was on MAME. King and Balloon is a third-person shooter game in which you control a pair of gunmen holding a cannon with a two-way joystick and a fire button. You need to protect your king from an invading army of hot air balloons that will fly down in an attempt to capture the king. Unlike most other shooter games of the time, your shooter isn't on the lowest level but on the top of the castle wall while the king walks across the bottom of his castle. The gameplay is very similar to Galaxian and even uses the same sound effects. The game begins with a large formation of hot air balloons flying across the sky. There are four rows in all. The top row has 12 red balloons. The next row down has 12 orange balloons, the next row has 10 yellow balloons, and the lowest level has 8 white balloons. Like Galaxian, these balloons will fly downwards in a combination attempt to shoot your gunmen and capture your king, although the balloons will also fire at you from their formation. The enemies will fly down and land in the castle and wait for the king to walk toward it. Once the king comes in contact with the balloon, the balloon will carry the king upward and the king will cry out help. Once the king is captured, you will need to shoot the balloon, and when you do, the king will parachute safely back to the castle and say thank you. If you don't shoot the balloon carrying the king in time, he will be carried off the top of the screen and he will say bye bye and you will lose a life. Unlike most shooter games at the time, you have an unlimited supply of cannons. If your cannon is shot, it will be destroyed. Also, if a balloon hits your cannon, it will also be destroyed, but the balloon will survive. If your cannon is destroyed, your castle will be defenseless for about one and a half seconds, so you still need to be cautious. As the game continues, the attacking balloons will join forces creating a larger, more powerful balloon requiring three shots to destroy, and you will earn a higher point total for each hit. Similarly to Galaxian and Galaga, there is a tiered scoring system for each enemy, although there are three tiers as opposed to two. The first tier is for shooting balloons when they are in formation and is the lowest scoring. The second tier is for shooting the balloons while charging and is the middle scoring. And the third tier is for shooting the balloons while carrying the king. This will give you the greatest score so you can strategically use this method for higher scoring. Scoring for the game from lowest to highest tiers is as follows. The white balloons are worth 20, 40, or 60 points each. The yellow balloons are worth 30, 60, or 90 points each. The orange balloons are worth 40, 80, and 120 points each, and the red balloons are worth 50, 100, and 150 points each. The large balloons are scored based on the base color along with the stripe color. You'll earn the lowest score for the first hit, the middle score for the second hit, and the highest score for the third hit. The large white balloons with the red stripe are worth 200, 300, and 500 points. The large yellow balloon with the orange stripe are worth 300, 500, and 700 points. The large orange balloons with the yellow stripe are worth 400, 600, and 1000 points. And the large red balloons with the white stripe are worth 500, 1000, and 1500 points. These large balloons will split back into three enemies when they lands in the castle. If the balloons that are in the castle don't capture the king, after a while they will return to formation and they will not be harmful to your canner while they are flying upward. I found this game very fun and challenging and highly recommend playing it if you can find it in an arcade or on an emulator. I enjoyed this game a bit more than Galaga 3, but not quite as much as Crush Roller, so King and Balloon soars into the 23rd spot overall. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any games you'd like me to review, please leave a message below or on my homepage. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to new videos every Wednesday and Sunday.